So now I have a uh, simple letter. Something I have to do frequently is uh, add an inside line or an outside line. And just we'll pick, uh, and we'll, we'll think that we're going to be using SS6 crystals. So this is a huge letter. Okay. Um, make it like uh, seven, eight centimeters tall. So make the letter seventy or eighty centimeters tall. Seven or eight centimeters, or seventy or eighty millimeters. Okay. So, so I've selected the the letter on screen, and I can adjust the height by uh, double clicking in the object height text field here, and then typing in seventy, clicking on the enter key, and there's that's readjusted the size of the letter on screen. Okay. Zoom in, and then uh, add an inside line and an outside line. Okay, so I'm going to go to Transform and then Outline. And notice that there are options here for both Inline and Outline. You can do two at the same time? Yes. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so uh, I need to know what offset uh, I want for the Outline and the Inline. Uh, I'm picking randomly. Try four millimeters. Okay. These are going to be symmetrically both inside and outside, right? Okay. Oh, I can choose individually, okay. And, and I may want to pick a different color for each one. Would that be a benefit? Yes and no. Okay, so we'll go four to the inside. It's personal I, I, can I can adjust those colors as well. So I'm going to close out now. So Which was the original, the black, right? Yeah. Original was the black. Okay, now can you apply two millimeter rhinestone um, 2.9 millimeters apart? Okay, to all the vector, all the colors, or just uh, Let's try it. I don't have a feeling how close they are. Okay, I'm just the guessing. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my clip art viewer and go to elements, double click on rhinestones, and uh, which um, pick SS6 the 2006. Okay, right now I'm going to apply one to all of them. Okay, we can go back in a second and just do red to red, black, clear black to black, you know, blue to blue. Okay. I'm just checking how fast in the rhinestone speed competition you can get. And walk me through what you're doing. Okay, so I've selected all the uh, inlines and outlines and the original text, and I've selected the element. I'm going to go to my fit object to path window, make sure nodes and distance is selected, and uh, input in what was the value that you'd like to put in? I picked uh, 2.9. 2.9. I'm going to click out. And, and right now, it's just guesswork to see how good it looks. It's so quick to do and undo. Right. So, uh, when zoom out for a sec. So, there's only one thing to fix, and that would be that one top right corner. That's Correct. It. That's all I can see. Okay, well, you won the world championship. Woohoo. Okay. <laughs> that's fast. Okay, that's good. Now, go back. And oh, undo. Undo. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold down my Alt key and my Backspace key. Okay, so let's do uh, red, white, and blue. Cause Americans love that. Okay, so we got a blue stone. Yeah. So apply it to the blue. Yeah. Same rules apply. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm selecting the blue element, and I'm gonna come in and I'm holding my Shift key down, and I'm clicking on the blue uh, vector uh, line here. I'm gonna go to the fit object to path window and click on OK. Okay, now let's take a black one. Okay. And while you're here in this in the elements, clip art elements, pull out the red and the black stone. Okay, so I'm so I'm selecting the black stone and this time I'm clicking and dragging to move it move I'm holding it while you're clicking, right? Yeah. So I'm and then I'm now notice that I still have my clip art viewer open on screen. Yeah. And now I, I want the blue one, or the red one, right? Yeah. So I'm going to click on that, and this time I'm going to click OK, because I'm done with the uh, rhinestone uh, selections. And let's just zoom in on this so we can get a better look at it. All right, so I'm going to pick the black element. Does it make a difference which you pick first? No, it doesn't. Transform, that, that same icon the fit object to path can be selected from the transform menu and fit object to path as well. Okay. So I'm going to click on uh, that and then I'm going to my fit object to path window. Notes and distance is the uh, correct option that I'm selecting and I'm going to use 2.9. I'm going to click OK.
And now do it with the icon, the last okay. one. Now I'm going to select the red, the red uh, C, and I'm going to hold my shift key down and select the red element, and then I'm going to use the icon, and then the same thing. Okay. So fix that one spot on the C. The rule is it didn't want to collide, so it could have been a half a hair of a millimeter off, so it didn't put it in, right? That's correct. Because the spacing was going to be not equal according to the rule. Okay. Visually, you'd never know. That's fine. Now. Tim, uh, I just want to see what that would uh, look like on the motif board. Okay. So delete these guys, right? Yep. And now I'm going to go F3 to select everything, and then F7. And I'm now uh, on the motif board. Now you want to see what the geometry would look like cut out, correct? Yeah, I just want a, uh, a preview, if you want to call it. Show tool diameter. That's yep. the cutting of the motif board. Okay. Just go back one more time, and. Uh, now the logo is, uh, you know, I don't know what the name of a company, uh, Canadian Casters, let's just pick that. How do I duplicate it so that it would be, uh, this object could be exactly the other side? You know, like a C going to the left and a C going to the right. Mirroring it, that would be appropriate. I want to mirror it on the left or mirror it on the right. Any quick tools to transform that way? Uh, I'm going to... So you pick the object and you mirrored it, right? Correct. Okay, and what if I wanted it the other way around? I wanted the, the, the C on the other side of it? You went to the right. What if I wanted to go to the left? Um, I'm going to select this. Yep. I'm holding my Alt key down and moving another element. I'm moving that over. And then can I mirror it again? Yes. Okay. So I could mirror that with the crystal. Yep. And uh, all the information is correct for taking it to the machine. Correct. Powerful. Um, do you want to make a circle and a square and just show me how to weld an object? Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now you'll notice that the objects are overlapping here. So what I can do so if I select both of them and then I go to the weld tool, yeah. click on the first basic weld tool. That's combining. Yeah, that's combining. So that'll remove out any intersection lines. Okay. Okay. That's an easy way to make a, a frame for some art if you had to. Correct. Okay. And then now you can do the opposite there? Um, if I wanted to, I could, um, well, another option is I can do what they call a color weld. So say I want the black object to butt up to the blue object that's behind it. If I select the same tool again, I call that a, a butt registration. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go back twice. And why did you make the color solid just for showing? Yeah, just for visual. And how did you do that? Uh, I go to the view menu and then show fill. Okay. Okay. So uh, one of the other weld tools is the, uh, we call it the AND weld. So whatever is common, common is retained. Okay. And then the last one is whatever is common is excluded. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now with the C, let, let's stop this and we'll just take this file to the machine and we'll call it a day. Okay. So then um, the next thing that I would do at this point is if you go to engrave and then engraving defaults, uh, because this is a um, multicolored job, and the, actually the first thing that I need to do is select the correct output device. In this case, I'm going to pick the mini motif maker. Uh, I want to make sure under the options section, because this is a multi, I, I would call this a multicolor or multi-stone job, I want to make sure that engrave by color is enabled. Well, it, it technically, right now, yes. the, 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 it's all SS6 crystals that you're using. Right, okay. And uh, you know what else? I'd like to stop it here. I'd like to make that a separate tutorial. Okay, no problem. Okay. Is this